Okay, so now we're in the virtual reality world. I've got my headset on. First thing we're going to do is in the home page, we're going to set up the uh, Guardian. So let's go to the Guardian. Let's go room scale so that we can reset the floor. Go all the way down the floor. Typically, that's what I do. There are some times when I do a little bit different. I hit confirm. Uh, we are definitely sitting, so I'm doing stationary. I'm going to confirm that. And then here we are. Now we're ready to get into the game. So let's get into the game. We're going to play Warplanes Battles Over Pacific. I typically go into single mode first just to calibrate everything. And as you can see, I've got it all set up. I'm going to just, just select any of these so that I can get up on the aircraft carrier in the airplane. Okay, so now that we're in the cockpit, you can see everything. I'm sitting just right. I can see my heads up display and I can see my target in there. Uh, first thing we got to do is we have to calibrate the height of the stick. So I want the stick to be right. I'm going to slide my chair in just so it feels comfortable. Put my hand, you typically right on top of the flight stick, and that's where I want the uh, uh, flight, the controller to be in the game. Click it, that's where it stays. Now when I'm ready to engage the uh, flight stick in the game, reach out, grab it, press the middle finger uh, button, press it, keep it held, and then slide that into the flight stick. And then there we are engaged. You can see it's engaged real nicely. Tracking really well. If I need to take it out and do the flaps, I can do that. Push it back in, reach out, grab it with the uh, middle finger trigger. Keep it held in while I slide it back in, and there you go. I can even control the flaps from the right controller, the mini uh, mini joystick. If I just push, press it back, it does the uh, flaps. If I press it forward, it goes forward as well. So you don't lose anything by using the flight stick. And you can see it's calibrated right on with what's going on in the game. Now I can tell that I'm gonna probably have to adjust, adjust my trim as I go up. Okay, so now let's, let's uh, talk about the uh, throttle controller. You reach into the game, you can see that you can grab it like that. So what I've got to do is I've got to position my throttle controller just about where it feels natural to grab it in the game. So in game, I would reach out. Same thing works on the left controller with your middle finger. You press and hold the uh, trigger button to grab it. So you reach out, press the, the uh, trigger with your middle finger, grab it, and then while I'm still keeping it pressed in, I slide that into the throttle controller mount. And as you can see, it works that way. Now, you can put this controller wherever you want. I always try to make sure that when I press forward, when I go all the way forward, that, let's see if I can do this. When I press all the way forward, I wanna make sure that my RPMs are reaching max potential, which is like 40 on this one. As you can see, that's what we're doing. I guess I'm gonna have to take off. So let me take off. Oops, guess I gotta grab it. There we go. All right, now we're in flight. And as you can see, we're hitting uh, max potential right there as far as RPMs go. Now, if I want to position this further back to me, I can do that as long as I'm still reaching my 40. Let me do that. I'm getting totally max thrust out of that, max RPMs. You can, if you want to position it further up, you can position it further up, but the more you move it up, it's actually going to start reading the uh, the amount of thrust you're giving it and it's actually going to start advancing the throttle for you so me personally i like it right about there where it feels like i'm actually in game if i let it go and i need to grab it again i can grab it in game and then just i can actually feel it with the back of my hand where it's at so i grab it and then slide it right into the slot and then i'm flying again and as far as rudder, rudder controls they are on the left controller mini joystick you can go move it to the right, yaws to the right, move it to the left, yaws to the left. All right, so if you want to engage it back again into the throttle controller mount, let's go and land. So we were talking about calibrating, and as you can see, if I let the flight stick go, it wants to tip down a bit. So what I need to do is I need to slide it back towards me. I, I, I end up picking up the whole flight stick, the whole uh, flight stick with the base and all and I just move it back to me a little bit until I get the flight I want. Now, if you have to adjust it because your plane is going, uh, it's wanting to roll left or right, 
you do the same thing, it'll be something like this. Maybe you get in game and it's trying to do this. Simply grab the uh, whole flight stick and the base and then just kind of tweak it over to where you want and see it's pitching up some. So kind of position the stick, the flight stick where you want. You can actually trim it out. That's pretty level. I'm not doing anything. That's pretty level flight. I like it right there, so I'm going to keep it there. Then I just kind of move my chair into where I want it to be. Then I'm going to re-engage the thrust. And let's go back and land. As you can see, I'm getting full thrust. I'm getting full thrust off of my throttle with the position that I have it in. If I wanted to raise my landing gear, which I don't want to do right now because it's going to take me out of this mode, I can either grab it and do it this way, like you would normally do it, or there's a button, uh, the bottom button on the left controller, you press it and it, it, it uh, either raises it or lowers your uh, uh, wheel so you don't ever have to really let, really take it out of the uh, flight controller or the uh, throttle controller mount. There it is. Uh, let's do a quick landing. I'm gonna drop my flaps. Wheels are still down. I'm using my rudders to get me over. There we go. And see if it'll break. I don't have brakes, of course. And there we go. That's where the motion sickness kicks in right there. Whew. All right, so that's how it all works. Uh, again, we still have control of everything. Nice and simple. You need to take your controllers out and you can move things. Uh, flaps, again, simple. Reach out, grab it, press the uh, Trigger with your middle finger, slide it right in, keeps it engaged. You can see it's pretty accurate, man, it's right on. Right throttle, or uh, your throttle controller, grab it with your left hand, reach out in the VR world, grab it, press your index finger, press the trigger, keep it held in while you slide that into the mount, and then you can advance that. And see if we can taxi around the, uh, on the flight deck here. Going off. There we go. And I'm gonna take off going that direction. Alright, and let's go. Pull back on the stick. And typically you would hit the uh let's go ahead and raise this. I'm gonna take it off and then I'm gonna raise the wheels and it's gonna take us into the game. All right, so now that we're in game, we have to re-engage everything. So reach out, grab the joystick with your uh, with your middle finger, press the trigger, and everything gets re-engaged. And you can make adjustments to your chair as you fly. That's how we roll. A little roll. Thrust. Let's move over to the Mustang, and I'll do a, I'll drop some bombs on these guys. Drop the bombs. You got to go up to 3,000 feet. Where did they go? There they are. All right. So let's climb up to 3,000 feet. We're already at 3,000 feet. I'm just going to drift over to them. Down there. I'm gonna drop my flaps, slow me down some. Just gonna roll right up over. A little bit off, actually. As you can see, my heads up display, I get my bomb trigger. So, in order to drop the bombs, line it up, hit the top button on your right controller. There they go, and there they go. How about that? Boom. And I'm gonna raise my flaps, give it some thrust. I am running for the hills. Let's 
at how much damage. Oh yeah, we totally destroyed that one. Boom. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoy the uh, flight stick and throttle controller as much as I do. Again, I appreciate your purchase. Tell the world about it, man. It's awesome. It feels, uh, you know, I was in the Air Force and I've been up in a lot of planes. I haven't had much time to put my hands on the controls of those planes, but boy, I tell you, I sat right next to pilots right behind them and I've hung out of air helicopters and things. And I tell you, this is as close as I can get to being back in that world again. It's amazing. So, tell your friends, uh, get some flight time and uh, go do it. Thanks again.